Hi, I'm Danny Gasparini, and welcome to this segment of Penn Voice. I'm joined today by Dave Pine, who's a supervisor for San Mateo County Board of Supervisors representing District 1. Dave, welcome. Great to so be here. today we're going to talk about Measure AA that will be on the June ballot. Um, tell us a little bit about what it is and the position you serve. Sure. Well, I'm very excited that this June uh, we will have on the ballot in San Mateo County, and in fact, on the ballot across all nine counties in the Bay Area, a $12 parcel tax that will raise funds to do tidal wetland restoration around the San Francisco Bay. So this is a historic measure in, in many ways. You know, first, there's never been a measure across all nine counties. Mm -hmm. And then second, um, we will can transform the bay and really heal the bay with the funds that are, are raised, both protect the, the ecosystem and to provide some really important natural protection from flooding by restoring these wetlands. So uh, it's a very, very uh, big and bold uh, measure that we're coming so, to the um, voters. What would the total dollars raised for the parcel taxes with these nine Bay Area counties be? And then are they wetlands already in existence or designated or will they be purchasing of f uh, further right. wetland areas? The $12 uh, a year parcel tax would raise about $25 million a year across all, all nine counties mm -hmm. uh, and would, would be in place for, for 20 years. Mm -hmm. So in, in total would raise approximately $500 million. Mm -hmm. And the money will be focused on about 35,000 acres of land that's currently in uh, public ownership. And a great deal of this are former salt ponds, um, particularly in, the, in, this, in southern San Mateo County and in Santa Clara. So uh, over a decade ago, a lot of these properties were transferred into uh, public ownership. Uh, and they are uh, fantastic uh, candidates for restoration. So we will not be buying any properties. We're mm -hmm. focused on uh, approximately 35,000 acres, which are in owner, public ownership now. Uh, the scientists would like to see uh, about 100,000 acres of healthy uh, uh, wetlands around the bay. Mm -hmm. We have about 40,000 currently, and we have this, this 35,000 that are uh, you know, prime for restoration. Right. So that's where the focus is. Tell me geographically in San Mateo County what um, are wetlands areas, where they are, and then what is the definition of restoring wetlands? Right. Well, in San Mateo County, our, our best opportunities in the, are the southern portion of the county, particularly the uh, uh, around uh, East Palo Alto and Menlo Park, the so-called Ra Ravenswood salt ponds. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in addition, there's a, a project in its infancy uh, that uh, would construct levees and, and do wetland restoration from Palo Alto up to Redwood City, mm -hmm. which would also be a good candidate for these fundings, this, this funding. It's not as applicable uh, in the mid and north county because of our historic development patterns. You know, we really you know, built into the wetlands and didn't have the old salt ponds to kind of right. protect the land. So the, the benefit, is the, the geographic benefit in San Mateo is more in the southern portion. Um, but what's really, really important about this measure is that, you know, it's truly a, a regional initiative. And when you ask voters about it, uh, they look at it that way. So a lot of people don't live anywhere near the bay, but they still feel very strongly that this needs to happen. Right. Because we also identify with the bay and we want the bay to be in better condition, uh, uh, you know, for future and what generations. what does that mean? How, yeah. how do you make it better? Right. So the, the, the monies, uh, again, are, are, are focused on restoring these wetlands and, and, and natural habitats, which um, uh, today are typically salt ponds or agricultural areas. So the process of doing this restoration is really quite sophisticated. It's been going on for some time now. Down in, this, in the South Bay, uh, this work has gone on for o over a decade. So there mm -hmm. is some great evidence of, of how to do this and, and, the, and the benefits of it. In fact, uh, uh, Bear, Bear Island in Redwood City is a recently restored uh, tidal wetland. Right. So, uh, you know, typically there are old earth and berms that are in place that are keeping the uh, tidal action from coming into these right. areas. And that was to protect the old salt ponds. Uh, right. So those are removed. But it's uh, uh, a complicated process because often the land behind the berm has subsided. So right. sometimes new soils have to be brought in. And the, the plumbing, the way the water circulates in the area, sometimes has to be altered. So uh, uh, when you get all these ingredients right, though, then nature will come back very quickly and, and will produce these, uh, these wetlands, which are incredibly important for the habitat. They also help keep the water cleaner. And as I mentioned earlier, 
we have real vulnerabilities in our county or across, across the Bay Area from storm events and from sea level rise. And one of the solutions to that is wetlands because wetlands can absorb some of these the wave energy. Buffer. They provide a buffer. They act as a sponge. And, you know, if we, we have to build the levee uh, on the shoreline, it doesn't have to be as large right. because of the benefit of that buffer. So we have revenue that will be generated over a 20-year period of time. How long will the restoration actually take? Well, this is the restoration is enormous, enormous undertaking. Um, just to kind of some some sense of scope, the so-called South Bay Salt Pond restoration, which uh, is Santa Clara and a portion of San Mateo, a little bit of the East Bay as well, it's 15,000 acres. That's bigger than Manhattan. So right. it's, we're we're talking a lot Large of property. Large areas. And Nine counties. Yeah. I mean, you know. And this uh, funding is, is not sufficient to do all the work. Okay. So this will go on for many decades. But it's important to get it started because with sea level rise, if we don't restore these wetlands, the land will be underwater. And fortunately, these wetlands can be established with, with sediment coming from the water. They can stay a pace of sea level rise. So it's important to get going. But this will happen over, over uh, many decades. So knowing that you don't have necessarily enough funding within the 20 years under this measure AA to do all of nine counties, is it a competitive grant process to figure out who's going to go first? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. The, the monies are collected by a group called the San Francisco Bay Restoration Authority. It's a, right. it's a and new, you're the chair. I am the chair. And we act very much like the San Mateo County Transportation Authority in that we're not going to do any construction ourselves or but we will be a grant-making entity. Mm -hmm. So various projects that are shovel-ready around the Bay would compete for this funding. Okay. And also another important thing, too, is the money will likely leverage other funding, particularly federal funding. So obviously you have to stay um, neutral um, knowing that you're chair, but you do represent San Mateo County. Right. How shovel-ready is San Mateo County um, if you were to take your authority hat off and be a supervisor and say, how ready are we to get... Um, provide this passes in June. We have to pass the parcel tax in June. Um, but should we pass it then, how, how is uh, San Mateo County faring yeah, well, to I'm, the I, others? My understanding is that the, the Ravenswood uh, Salt Pond project is uh, far down the planning phase, and there's an uh, environmental impact report uh, has been completed for that. So th that one is far, far along, and it would be a really good candidate. So um, the ballot is in June. Um, have you done any testing or polling to see how well people are educated about yeah. the subject and, and knowing about it? Yeah, well, uh, it requires a two-thirds vote to mm -hmm. pass, and that's two-thirds in the aggregate across all nine counties. So it's a tremendous uh, hurdle to pass. Wow. So it's not just if San Mateo County passes it. It has to be two-thirds from all nine counties. Exactly. Interesting. Exactly. And we know there's Is some... that the first of its kind? Yes. So we know in some counties uh, we won't uh, receive two-thirds. Other counties, like San Mateo, we're hopeful will exceed the two-thirds. To even it out. To even it out. And the polling on this has been very, very encouraging because of the fact that people identify with the Bay and just love the Bay mm -hmm. and um, uh, are, are very passionate about uh, making sure that... And if you sort of get over the idea that a tax is a tax, it's probably palatable to people at $12. I'm, yeah, I'm guessing. That's exactly right. I mean, we looked at different types of funding mechanisms, different mm -hmm. levels. And then $12 is a dollar a month. And uh, people feel that that's uh, well worth it for right. protecting the bank. Where can our viewers go to find out more information or to contact someone to get a little bit more than our 10-minute conversation? Right. Well, on the web, um, we have a campaign website, People for a Clean and Healthy Bay. And we'll put that up on our, the end of our show. That would be a great place to go. Or the San Francisco Bay Restoration Authority would have lots of information, too. Okay, great. Well, Dave, thank you so much. Um, so we'll look forward to having you back after June and letting our viewers know um, what happened with Measure AA and then how ready is San Mateo County All right. for its restoration. All right, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. And thanks for joining us on Penn Voice. Hope you'll look up more information on Measure AA, and we'll see you next time.